Sally was born at a time when outer space was science fiction and women's rights were practically non-existent. While she was playing tennis in college, she was studying science. The thing is, she never imagined being an astronaut. She saw an advertisement that NASA was soliciting women to be astronauts, and she thought, I could do that. I watched as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon, and I was nine years old. But the year I graduated from high school uh, was the year that Sally Ride, among the total of six women, were selected that year. 1977, NASA selected 35 new astronauts to fly the space shuttle. She was one, I was another. I was tremendously interested in and proud of Sally Ride and the five other women who were selected to be astronauts in 1978. And to me, Sally and the others were beacons that our generation of girls was coming of age. My first assignment was to do a story on the so-called new breed of astronauts. And the new breed meant that for the first time, NASA was taking women, people of color, non-military scientists, people who were going to go to do something on the shuttle, not necessarily fly it or land it. The seventh flight of the space shuttle was on board Challenger. There were five crew members Bob Crippen was the commander, and then four of us who were in the new shuttle group, uh, we call ourselves TFNG, 35 new guys. The American people loved the fact that a woman was finally going to fly in space. I was actually at Sally Ride's launch in 1983. I was on a family vacation when I was 12 years old, and we went to the Kennedy Space Center and watched the first American woman go into space. For me, that changed my dream of being an astronaut into something more of a goal, something that seemed much more achievable to me. So it was very critical, I think, in my life to inspire me, let me know that other women could do this job. Ultimately, I think Sally Ride thought of herself primarily as an educator. She spent more time as an educator, an author, the force behind Sally Ride Science than she did as an astronaut. She loved students. She loved working both formally in the classroom and being out in, with the students and in, in, uh, having coffee and just trying to get to know the people that she wanted to inspire. Sally Ride Science was Sally Ride's way of saying, I did this, so can you, and we need you. Not just that she was an astronaut, a physicist, and an influential icon as a woman. The forever stamp is very important because it really showcases that Sally was an inspiration for all women to go into the sciences. It's a tremendous honor for Sally Ride to be featured on a U.S. postal stamp. And seeing that megawatt grin on stamps all over this country, I think, is a great way to remember that. <laughs>